11 for Georgia after the penalty. Ballou rolls it out. He just wants to run around and kill the clock. He goes on as long as he can. He's going to the play. Notre Dame with no more timeouts remaining. We're now inside 25 seconds, and Georgia gets 10 there. And they exult as the time is away. And a team won the last championship without making the mistakes. That's what we talked about. They didn't make the mistakes and Notre Dame did. The crowd. Second in the end zone. Andre Johnson, Roscoe Parrish, and Kellen Winslow and Dorsey under pressure. Throws it. Sets to the shotgun, gets the snap, hands it to Elliott, who goes sweeping to the left side, gets to the 20, loose to the 30, to the 40, down the left side, to the 50, goes Elliott, he's going to take it to the house, 30, 20, 10, touchdown Ezekiel Elliott, 85 yards. A little pushing and shoving going on, as usual for Michigan, Ohio State, just ask our Charles Woodson. Yeah, I mean, I know the probably things you're thinking of the same as I'm thinking of, but I mean, let's move on with humble hearts, take the high road, but uh, you know, there's, there's definitely stuff that, you know, people said that spurred us on even more sure sometimes people that are standing on third base think they hit a triple you know but they didn't thanks i think what it really shows is this is about the only school that could beat georgia and i'm talking about state TCU, I know we, we had our fun with them last week. They're a very good team. Congratulations. They'll still lose by three or four touchdowns in the semifinal. The 2022 college football playoff field is set. The regular season is complete. Conference champs have been crowned, and we now have the top four teams in the nation. Georgia, Michigan, TCU, and Ohio State are officially in the playoff field. The Dogs will take on Ohio State in at number four after all in the Peach Bowl at Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta on New Year's Eve. 
Idol during championship weekend, the Buckeyes' hopes came back to life when previous number four USC fell to Utah. In the Winners of the two semifinal games will face off for the national title on Monday, January 9th in Inglewood, California. Show me now, or are you trying to create drama? We, I just don't need drama. There we go. We do. It's Ohio State. There it is. No drama. So the Buckeyes are in. Um, I said it before, it's like a, a second lease on life. You know, we, uh, you know, a couple days ago, we're on life support a little bit, our season was. And now, uh, you know, there's a, there's a two game season ahead of us. Yeah, we will play fast! <laughs> we will play violent! <laughs> and we will play angry! But now, we're back in control of our destiny. But if you lose, the devil gets your soul. And then we'll open up the case and I'll oh, start this show. He fire flew from the fingertips as he rose up his bow. Then he flew the bow across the trees and it made an evil hit. <laughs> then a band of demons joined in that sounded something like this. But sit down in that chair right there and let me show you how it's done. Fire on the mountain, run, boys, run. Devil in the house of the rising sun. Chicken in the bread pan, picking out dough. Ready to get off by no child, no. You all see some fiddle playing? Because he knew that he'd been beat. And he laid that golden fiddle on the ground at Johnny's feet. And Johnny said, Devil, just come on back if you ever want to try again. Because I told you once, you son of a gun, I'm the best it's ever been. Fire on the mountain, run, boys, run. Devil in the house of the rising sun. Chicken in the red bay, picking out dough. Ready as you know, but no child, no. So where were we? The playoff. Oh, yes. Only a handful of teams remained, hailing from kingdoms far and wide across the college football land, all vying for a spot in the playoffs. Each team led by a great coach, fearless players, and defended by the loyalist of fans. Soon, they would take part in an epic playoff battle for the right to call themselves national champions. And to the victor go the spoils. A beautiful trophy, a grand celebration, and bragging rights that stand the test of time. <laughs> we'll find out soon.